And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wow, draw. Did you really get banned for streaming Little Mermaid? That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Anyway, going on to the group. Final match: Lancer X versus Michael. A PVZ of epic proportions, or so I hope. Uh, and a best of three for the last spot in the round of eight, or not the last spot, but the second spot from this group, the last spot from this group. And so, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. At the top left, as the white Zerg, we have Michael. At the top right, as the orange Paradox again, complaining about our poor, poor observers, we have uh, Lancer X. And we're on Winning Cloud. We're in horizontal positions this time, though, instead of uh, vertical positions. <coughs> so. We got a we got a middle scout here. Oh oh, he's doing the good old good old sneaky look for a probe. It's not really sneaky, I guess, but he's doing the thing. The middle scout. All right, let's see which way is Lancer X gonna scout. I'd imagine Lancer X would just scout vertically, so it doesn't. It's not gonna see it. Is he gonna scout vertically? Come on, go vertically. Come on, go, go. E yes, good. Okay, so yeah, the Overlord's probably just gonna head down to the bottom left now. Uh, now, I already come, or, Lancer X already showed us an interesting wall in the top left position. I don't know if you can make the same one here. This pylon is too far left to, put to, to have a gateway touch the top of this cliff, though. So, I don't know if he's actually just going to do Forge Gateway this time, or not. I guess we'll see. And in the meantime, Michael almost certainly going for a 12 patch. <coughs> And it looks like okay, he is actually going for the same one, but again, I'm, I, I don't actually see how the gateway fits here. I mean, the gateway will be like here. Is that still tight there? Maybe it's still tight, actually. I'm not sure. Because it'll... Because it, see, this, this gap is too short for a gateway, so it would have to be like on the left side. You see what I mean? <clears throat> anyway, uh, probe now going to see the 12 patch from Sir Michael. And Michaels has sent the drone scout out to see that this is in fact a forge fast expand. And oh, drone's gonna block it! Oh, blocked! Blocked! How you like me now? This is like the, the best revenge for all Zerg players getting their hatcheries blocked. Uh, is he gonna let that die? What? Wait, what? What? Seriously? Oh my god, is this the second one? If he loses a second drone, I'm calling shenanigans. <laughs> I, I don't know how he uh, lost that drone. That's very weird. Should not lose that. And yeah, it looks like the gateway's going on the left. But you see this one I'm talking about? So now it's not actually touching the cliff. So I don't know if that's tight, because that looks like a big gap to me. Hmm, this wall seems slightly problematic. This seems slightly problematic. However, if he kills a second drone, it probably doesn't matter. <laughs> he really wants to. It's in the middle of the pack, though, somewhere. Actually, where'd it go? Oh, no, I think Michael made the extractor with it, so it's no longer there. Okay, too bad. So... Lazar X sort of messing up the wall a little bit. Uh, but I don't know if Michael actually realizes this yet. His, his Overlord's about to make its way over there, so maybe when he sees this, he'll be like, huh, maybe I should make Zerglings. Although it might be too late by that point, I don't know. In the meantime, we have the transfer, the core, the third base of the close third instead of the natural. 
Um, given their spawning locations, I mean, getting this as his fourth base is probably not that hard, since he'll be expanding vertically and his opponent's here, so I don't mind this as much as taking the close third on some other maps and some other spawn locations. I think this is actually probably fine. Uh, and in the meantime, Michael sees the bad wall, but it doesn't look like he's going for anything crazy. Yeah, he's getting link speed, but he's just getting drones behind. So we're going to see a longer PVZ, it seems. Which is good. That is, in fact, very good. <coughs> so the Stargate on the way. Still just one cannon from Monster X, as some people in the chat are helpfully pointing out. Although he might make a second one now. Is that what this probe is trying to do? Ah, it is. Can make it a little bit further back, though. Interesting. Curious. If he just put it here, he could have, like, fixed the wall issue, but I guess he didn't really care. Well, this probe guy is going to see a decent number of Zerglings out, actually. And probably not going to be able to get into the main, though. Nope. Denied. Oh, they got speed, too. It's very sad. It's a very sad time when you're a probe, like, trying to scout the Zerg, and suddenly speed finishes, and all the Zerglings chasing you suddenly get, like, twice as fast. Ah, uh, yay, yay. In the meantime, uh, we do have plus one on the way for Lancer X's Corsair, so he's gonna be going for some plus one Sair action. Meanwhile, doing a nice little block here with a Goon Zealot Zealot combo. He's got two cannons anyway. And Michael does not appear to be doing anything crazy, just getting a Spire, getting a fourth hatch. I'm curious how he's at, which side he's actually in a wall here, which side he's gonna SimCity. So obviously there's two ramp entrances here, so it looks like he's gonna build something here. I guess build a couple of summons behind. You gotta be careful not to manor his gas though. I guess actually the pro I wonder if the drones will mine and return the gas to this hatchery instead of this one. Because the because the, because of this angle, this gas does seem to be slightly inefficient. So this actually might make it more efficient. That's actually very interesting. I haven't actually thought about that before. So in the meantime. <coughs> Alpia wants me to talk about something random though, but I have no idea what he's talking about. Oh man. I don't even know if Alfio's like purposely trolling or if he's like trying to make legit comments, but because of his nature, like even when he's trying to be constructive, he sounds like he's just, you know, being a dick. Maybe, maybe that's just like Alfio. You know, because like some people are like that. I don't know. I can't even tell. Like he could be trying to make a legit point, but you know, we don't know. Well, that's a pretty quick Queen's Nest though. That's a pretty quick Queen's Nest. From, uh, from Thing. From Michael. Sorry, I'm like completely losing my train of thought now. Do, 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 do. That Corsair will likely die. Oh. Oh. Uh. Eh. <laughs> completely slow reaction there from those, uh, from those scares. Not even close. So I'm a little bit confused by this really fast Queen's Nest because, I mean, he got his Den and the Spire and everything as normal, so he's, he's played, for the most part, a normal strategy, but he got a Queen's Nest really fast, so I don't really know what that's for. Surely he's not actually making, oh my god, he is making Queens. Ha! <laughs> Surely not! Oh wait, yes he is. Alright, well... Uh, he's not getting an upgrade. But you need, to, you need to research and snare, don't you? I thought they only come with Parasite. Queens only come with Parasite, right? I'm pretty sure. So... he needs to get in snare. But that'd be quite cool. Especially if he grabs all of the plus one Corsairs in a big ensnare and just like takes them all out with Hydras, that'd be pretty cool. But again, he's not actually getting anything. So right now the only spell that his Queen's gonna have is um... It's Parasite. Where did the Queen go, though? Oh my god, he's just hiding them. Is he actually getting them for Broodling? Is he actually just... Uh, because the Broodling obviously takes a lot of energy to get. Oh my god, what are these... Uh, 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 what are they doing? What is going on here? Michael's gonna get a free Archon. I don't understand. That's really weird. But I think he's actually gonna Broodling High Templars. But you see, he doesn't need to get Broodling yet. Because, look, they're only at 83 energy. They need 150 energy to get Broodling. So, you know, he can just get it a little bit later, although he should probably get it now. Uh, 
I mean, he's got to get it at some point. But man, this is really cool. It's like the game between uh, Perfect Man and Zero. It's like one of my favorite games of all time. Where Zero just went pure Queen Zergling. And just blew things all the High Templar and used Zerglings to kill everything else. It was so amazing to watch. Draw actually promised me he'd do that at some point, I think. Didn't he? Maybe not. I don't know. Draw, you should do that build. So, yeah, as I said, there are the Brulings now. So, again, he didn't need it that quickly because he knew that his uh, Queen Energy would take a long time. And actually, it looks like Bruling actually uh, researches quite quickly. You can see the progress bar zipping along there. So, yeah, it's going to finish about the time when he has 150 energy. So, he's going to have four Brulings to use on whatever High Templar on the field. Now, he's already sniped two of the High Templar, which, of course, made, made into an Archon. I mean, there aren't even four High Templar on the field here. He's just only making Zealots. And, uh, and yeah, looks like Lancer X is going to go for that 12 o'clock base. I mean, Michael's got the, the bottom right base is covered, but uh, I don't think he... Does he even realize that Lancer X is just trying to take this base? He still doesn't even have speed yet. Why does he not have speed? Okay, speed just now finishes. Plus one is done as well. Uh, but plus one on the high goes uh, as well. And the course is going to come in. They're going to see the Queen's Nest now. Is he going to realize what's going on? Is he going to know that the Queen's are about to own him? Oh, man. This could be beautiful. It could not though, because there's only two High Templars anyway. Oh man, I wonder if he'll just use a... He'll probably not use a Brilliant on these elves. That wouldn't make any sense, would it? It would be really funny though. Oh man, here we go. Come on, dude, you gotta get the Brilliant in there. The High Templar, where are the High Templar? They're in the back. The Queens, where are the Queens? The queens are just chilling, come on, Queens! Come on, do it, do your thing, get it, get him, zap him, Brutling, Brutling, oh yeah, Brutling those High Templar, that's what I'm talking about. And then they die. But it looks like the other two just ran away to the bottom left, so they're okay. And now Lancer X is going to lose a 12 o'clock for sure. And he's just losing to Mass Hydra because he's got no AoE. Lancer X is apparently also not macroing, because, you know, macroing is for noobs. So this is quite bad for Lancer. Instead he's just gonna build a bunch of gateways. He's gone up to eight gates now, he's getting some goon range, getting some cannons to defend against the inevitable Hydra counterattack. He's actually positioned his Ellis so he can like get a surround off if Michael does go for an attack on his natural. Meanwhile the courses are actually doing a pretty good job here, constantly killing stuff. Uh, I don't actually know where the rest of the queens are. There's the one random queen. What happened to the two queens with energy? Did they actually die? I don't actually see what happened to the two queens with energy. Oh, there they are! They're, on the t they're at the top! They're looking for High Templar! Oh man, look at them just spawn camping! Yo, this is not cool, bro. You can't spawn camp. Whatevs. Oh man, sick counterattack though. I thought he was just gonna use these to flank the uh, hybrid boss, but actually he's going for a counterattack, which is not really gonna work. Oh man, nice drone drill. Oh, perfect drone drill. And by that I mean he's... Wait, what? Why didn't he just block? Oh man, he just ran away! I thought he was just gonna block with the drones. That was weird, but he's probably going to kill Lancer X with his Hydras, and I don't think Lancer X is going to kill him with the, with the Zealots. It looks like all the Corsairs died as well. well. Not all of them, but another one of the Corsairs died, so Lancer X is pretty dead. And he can't even make High Templar still with his freaking Queens. Although if he kills his Overlord and the DTs come out, that'll be quite nice. So... Lancer X is pretty dead. His counterattack has failed. And... Yeah. That GG timing. Come on, dude. Let's go to game two. Let's do it. Come on. Alright, Michael's got lurkers in your base. Yeah, <laughs> the high Templar comes out after the Queen's left. I don't know where they went. Maybe the Corsair's killed him. Oh, he's got emergency DDs. Alright, so he's not gonna leave yet. Okay, now you leave. No? Alright, maybe not. I guess not. Uh, but he's, he's still dead though. Hey look, there's a- oh wait no. I thought I saw a High Templar down here, I guess not. It'd be funny if he had Ensnare, because Ensnare will actually reveal cloaked units. So if you just hit like money and snare on all the DTs, that'd be amazing. Doesn't look like he's getting it though. Ha! <laughs> Lancer X knows. GG! And Michael takes game number one in the series. He's one game away, ladies and gents. One game away from the round of eight. And let's go to game two.